let's begin with London, where residents of the London apartment tower lost their bid to stop the military from deploying surface to emphasize on their roof during the Olympics. A high court judge said the decision of the defense ministry to station missiles in front of the tower was justified on grounds of national security. The residents claimed that it wanted to turn their homes into a military tower. The EU tabled the blueprint to Spain's 100 billion euro bank bailout plan. The EU plans to run the country an extra year to cut its budget deficit. Finance ministers from the 27 EU countries meeting in Brussels approved extending Spain's deadline for achieving a budget deficit of less than 3% of its annual economic output. Violence continued to break through here. This evening, as President Bashar Assad agreed to a new EU and broke a peace plan focusing on controlling the most violent areas of the country. Amateur Rido and the only people to by anti regime activists showed combat between civil rebels and forces loyal to Assad in the northern cities of France and Aleppo. A bomb blast and a bus killed at least three and wounded more than 14 people in Baghdad. The bomb exploded in a southern city, a Shiite district in the northeastern part of Baghdad. No one has claimed responsibility for the attack. Iraqi officials claim the rise in violence and mass attempts to spread political struggles among the country's ethnic and sectarian factions. 